Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be setting up your iPhone 11. So this is the right edition. However, it doesn't really matter which iPhone you guys have, the setup is the exact same thing. So let's just get started. On the side right here, we're gonna see the power button. That's on your right side, right beside the lenses. That's your power button. So we're just gonna hold that and we will see an Apple logo popping up. Now, most phones, actually all iPhones come already charged up. Maybe not the whole way, but most of the way. So we should see that Apple logo popping up. And if you guys don't have an Apple ID, we're gonna have to create one just because iPhones work best if you guys create an Apple ID. And yes, you guys can actually skip all those steps and go right into using your iPhone without even doing that setup with an Apple ID. However, for iCloud and everything, really downloading apps, you will need an Apple ID. Anyways, right now what we have to do is just swipe up and we're gonna see these options. So at this point, you guys can choose any language that you guys like. So what we're gonna do in this case is just choose English. Then we're gonna choose USA or wherever you guys are from. And right here's our quick start. So yes, if you guys had an iPhone before, an iPad, you guys could transfer everything over. This quick setup does help you mostly with your internet connection. Other than that, there's a lot of stuff that you will have to do again anyways. So we're just gonna set up manually this time. And right here, we're gonna see the second option, which is my Wi-Fi. However, your Wi-Fi will be different, obviously. So you just choose your Wi-Fi. And yes, something I wanna mention on this phone, I haven't taken this out yet. And that's because I don't have a screen protector yet. Once I get my screen protector, then I will be taking this off. Until then, I don't want my screen to get scratched. I'm gonna go next. After just a little bit, you will see the option to continue on. So let's just continue. Face ID. So this is something that you guys can set up later. So if you don't want to do it right now, here's the option to set it up later in settings, or else you can go ahead and continue to set it up. Face ID is really, really easy to set it up. So we're going to do that right now. So we're just going to press continue. And we have to do exactly what this tells us, which is just moving our head just around. So you will see right now, get started. And just press continue. And once we're done that, just go ahead and continue on create a passcode. Yes, some of you don't like passcodes and maybe just want to go into your phone right away. You can go into passcode options. Let me just show you that and use something else. Okay. So right now we're just going to cancel that. I just want to show you those options. It can be anything you guys like. From here, this is the important option. So if you guys want to transfer any info to your phone, I do have a separate video showing you guys that. And it's with any phone really that you guys can transfer from iCloud. And it's just putting your iCloud ID. It's that simple. Or if you're brand new into your iPhone, we can always go to don't transfer data. So we're going to do that. We're going to assume we're brand new into your iPhone. And right here, Apple ID, if you guys don't have one, don't forget that you can always click down here below. So down here, if you don't have an Apple ID, we can always create an Apple ID just by pressing the second option. And it's just going to take us through everything, okay? Which you need an email. Just any email will do. So we're going to go back on that. Now, I also did mention to you guys that you guys could set this up without an Apple ID for now, which I don't suggest, but if you have to, go ahead. It's also this option down here below, and we can always set up later in settings. So that's what we're going to do in this case. So don't use. We're going to just agree to this. Continue. Continue. Um, this, it's up to you guys. We can enable it or disable it. The only reason I skipped out on iCloud is because that's just going to bring your information and that takes long. So I just want to get through this really fast and that's why we skipped that step. We're just going to continue. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, sent a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. Gonna click on continue. This screen time, well, I don't like screen time. <laughs> it's just me. I don't really find this useful for me. If this was, if I had kids, want this one to be for my kids, for sure I would install screen time because you guys can set up restrictions from there and anything that you guys want to do in order to control this phone and not make it that accessible. However, I think most of you will just rather set up in settings later. We're going to share this with Apple. You guys can choose not to share, by the way. I'm going to share everything with Apple, but you guys can do 
not sure it's up, okay? I'm just gonna continue on. Appearance. I like the dark appearance. At first I thought it would be not great, <laughs> especially under the sun, but after using it quite a bit, I do like the dark appearance. So I'm gonna set it up like that. Or for most of you who like the classic, you guys can leave it as light. So although I like dark, I'm just gonna leave it light just for this video, it makes it easier to record. So same thing, if you guys like everything zoomed in, maybe everything's too small on your phone, you guys can also pick zoomed and you can even zoom in even more than what it tells you right now. That's always an option. We're just gonna go and continue. Let's just put continue. It's actually really good for you guys to watch this just because it tells you some of the stuff that you should know. I'm gonna go continue, you can access control. So yes, it's good to know all the stuff that it tells you right now, especially because you will be using all that. So let's just swipe up for now. And right here, we're gonna see the apps that it comes with. So these are the apps that an iPhone 11 comes pre-installed. Okay, so if you guys never owned an iPhone before, that's it, that's all the apps that you guys get. Everything else you will have to download. And there's a ton of free apps there's actually more free apps right now than what we used to have way before, okay? Including games and everything. So it's really, really good. In order to download any apps, that would be in the App Store. Your camera's right there. Like I told you guys, some of the stuff that you should know. So for example, let's open up Safari. And let's swipe it up. It's going to home. Swipe it up. Go here. Swipe it up. Swipe it up. Okay. So if I want to view all these apps that I just closed, all I have to do is swipe up and I'm gonna see them. I can go through them and to completely close them, all I have to do is swipe up on them. Swipe up, swipe up, and they're actually fully closed. Before, instead we had a home button. That's what we would use to do in order to close any apps. Right now it's about swiping up. If you swipe down right here, you will see these options. Okay, if you swipe up, down here in the middle, this is another. And if you go to the side, you will see notifications and stuff like that, including your search bar. So I'm gonna go back, but you're all set up right now. You guys are good to go. Go ahead and use your iPhone. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.